Salam alaikum. Hola. Annyeong. Hello. Hi, y'all. Hello. Hi, I am Miss Anis. So, thank you again for choosing Etuition as your learning solution. So, for today, uh, what I will be sharing with you, um, it just is on a bit of uh, El Mula on English. Alright. So, for today, what we'll be covering is on adjectives. Uh, so, how do I would, I guess, explain what is adjectives, right? It's like adding flavor to the nouns that you that you use in your sentences okay so dia macam bayangkan uh, contohlah kalau korang pergi pantai right you went to the pantai you went to the beach and then what did you see all right uh, i saw the beach is it clean uh, was it windy uh, was there a lot of stretch or was it very uh, clean uh, white sand uh, muddy or was there a lot of people so what did you see what did you feel what did you taste so all these adjectives right that describing your apa yang you nampak apa yang you rasa uh, or the environment that you had dekat beach tu dekat pantai tu so it's like adding a flavor right because it's, if you just put I went to the beach and I saw the sand I saw the water it's so bland me so that's why adjectives add some flavor to your sentences okay so for today uh, what we'll be doing is bila kita nak compare when we try to compare uh, two nouns uh, ataupun two items uh, in terms of the punya adjectives okay so there's three forms so which is the first one is positive second one is comparative and then the last one is superlative don't worry we'll cover later apa ke benda these three words uh, so this is the form when you try to compare your adjectives okay so let's get started then all right so positive so what does it mean by that so bila you um, so bila you ada dua uh, benda when you have two items of two people you try to compare right um the the state or the contohlah the shape ke the opinion that you had on that pers uh, on that people right kalau dia sama okay you, you try to compare you try to compare these two nouns kan tapi sama macam apa nama dua-dua cantik dua-dua handsome uh, both are pretty both are both smells very nice right so there's no difference in between these two nouns sebabkan dia sama it's equal so that's why i put the equal sign there so it's on the positive form of the uh, adjective sorry uh, okay so usually when you see the sentences uh, when trying to compare something but they have the same uh, level of adjective right usually in sentence there are the this dual kataan as adjective apa as okay so let's go through the ex first example that i have here so my uncle is as wealthy as steve jobs so the adjective that i use here is wealthy Okay, so siapa tak kenal Steve Jobs, go ahead and go and uh, tanya Mr. Google, who is Steve Jobs? Um, and I bet you find someone that you can look up to in terms of his success um, and learn how he thrive actually to get his business uh, to where it is now. But okay, so but the thing is, uh, Steve Jobs is no more longer here in this world, I think. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, okay, so in here, what it means by these sentences is my uncle has the same amount of money as Steve Jobs. Okay, so that's why I put here as wealthy as Steve Jobs. They are sama. Uh, tak semestinya Steve Jobs akan lagi kaya at, uh, uh, with my uncle. My uncle dengan Steve Jobs sama. So that's what it means by uh, in these sentences. And the second one is, so the water, so the second, uh, second example, the water... I'm trying to see whether if it's in the spring. Yes, the water in this cup is as little as the water in the glass. Okay, so meaning lam amount of water yang dekat dalam cup tu sama dengan water dekat dalam glass. Okay, alright. So be, you try to compare the amount of water, uh, uh, the low level of water dekat dalam cup dengan glass. Tapi sebabkan dia sama, so that's why this is how it is uh, being. Um, apa? Being compared. So the little is the adjective. Okay, let me just highlight it here. 
So this one is as small t s and this one is as little s. Now this is for the positive punya form. Let's go through the second one, which is comparative. Now when you try to compare your two nouns, but they don't have the same level tau. Orang ni ada satu tu contoh lah kan. You tengah main game and then someone dekat level satu, you dekat level tiga. So you are higher level compared to the one yang dekat level satu. Alright, so this one comparative. Uh, so I put here sign tambah because you have to change the word, uh, change the adjective that you use. Uh, but how you change it? You tambah r, you tambah er, uh, or you use more. Okay. Now in this example that I will use here, right? So uh, my uncle is blank than Steve Jobs. So what is the um, comparative for wealthy? Um, uh, if it's uh, more lah than Steve Jobs, if say that my uncle has more money than Steve Jobs, what is the form of comparative for wealthy? Nah, should I just tambah R? Or should I just use more? You tambah er. But the thing is, kalau you tambah wealthy, the y to, and then you just tambah er, that's not right. You have to change the y to i to have a uh, to have a uh, right spelling. Okay. So, Allah, sorry. I write with blank uh, black marker. Let's use black marker so you won't get confused. So, well, fear. Than Steve Jobs. So this means my uncle has more money than Steve Jobs. Okay, so that's what this sentence means. Then the second one is the water in this cup is blank than in the glass. I not test you guys. I don't know whether you guys notice on this one or not. <laughs> okay, now oh in this sorry in this example right, what am I trying to compare? Is it the cup? The glass or the water, because you have to be careful here. So when you try to compare something, right? Make sure, especially when you try to compare your adjectives, you have to compare with the same kind. You tak boleh contohnya kan? You compare, uh, say for example, you try to compare me with the cat. I am, am I as cute as the cat? You can't do that. I am a person, and that is a cat. You cannot compare us to. You have to compare me with another person like Nora Danish or okay, never mind lah. I'm not as pretty, as cute as her lah. But still, you have to compare me with another person if you try to compare the cuteness of us. Okay, all right. So if cat, you have to compare with another animal like cheetah or leopard or a fox. What does the fox? Eh, never mind. But yeah, so you have to come when you try to compare. Make sure you compare the same kind or the same thing. Okay, try to. Uh, so this one, you, uh, what you try to compare here is the water. So I was just testing you. So the water in this cup is something than the water in the glass. I'm not so sure if you can see it, but yeah, make sure you compare the same thing, same kind. Okay. Now, what is the comparative form of little? Ah, so this one is less. Less than the water in the glass. Oh, I forgot to mention. Now, because it, this is comparative, right? When you're trying to compare two items uh, and then another is a higher level than the other one, make sure you um, uh, you have this one word when you're trying to compare something, which is T-H-A-N. Then, this indicates that you're trying to compare one item to another, one noun to another. Okay, kalau tak ada, uh, you, it doesn't look like you're trying to compare something. Okay, alright. So, this one is less. Now, the thing is, less ni tak kena pula dengan R, tak kena pula dengan ER, ataupun more. It's a bit different. Now, this one is a regular comparison, meaning there's some cases, some words, dia... Uh, ada another form of its own adjective tau untuk comparative dengan superlative ni another word is good because good uh, what is a uh, high, I mean, comparative form of good it will be 
better and then what is the superlative later we will cover kejap okay so that's for comparative now for superlative okay so the reason it uh, I, I share just now good better and then for superlative meaning very 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 higher level some uh, the highest level of something so for good better the superlative of good is best BEST okay now so as mentioned just now if you have uh, something that you want to say that thing is the most the highest the like very 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 so you use superlative form of that adjectives okay all right so usually for superlative the form of your adjective dia ada tambah uh, your your the positive form of your adjective kan you tambah uh, st est or most okay so these three um these three forms of it okay now in my example here so my uncle is the blank of all so the exit the positive uh, form of the adjective was wealthy now how do i write it here for wealthy what is the superlative form of wealthy st est or most wealthy wealthiest because here it's wealth you know what i forgot to add l <laughs> <laughs> wealthy wealthier uh, so uh, the comparative is wealthier so if you trying to uh, make it in the form of superlative it's wealthiest okay well tears of all okay so you are adding est and then another one is the water uh, oh wait blue color blue color so the second one is the water in this cup is the blank of all so which one which uh, what word can i replace less um to, to say that the water in this cup is paling sikit paling like the bleh, the lowest of all uh, but not lowest <laughs> okay because this is not low um the the adjective that we use was not low so this one the adjective was little so little is the positive form comparative was the what was it less right the for the form of it less now superlative less l-e-a-s-t okay all right i think um we have covered for this example is when we added est or uh, we change the word to another form of, uh, i mean like when we try to compare it we use the irregular comparison of the adjective so let me give you two more example where we will try when we uh, when we put it into the comparison uh, comparative sorry comparative and superlative we use more or most and then we added uh, r o s t okay so give me a few minutes to write it up and then we'll start from there okay now the second one is comparative so sekarang ni kita nak compare one noun to another noun okay so this one uh, sebab earlier uh, i think i give you an example which we use i e r ataupun we sorry we use e r dengan another one is we change the word totally tau kita tukar terus now untuk this i give you two example one we just need to add r and another one is we use the word more okay now jimin is blank dan jungko i forgot to mention you uh, earlier when you try to compare uh, memang betul-betul compare two nouns right you're trying to say one is better than the other one is more than the other or lesser than the other you have to use the word then t h n uh, so t h a n this is very important when you try to compare two things two items okay all right so jimin is something handsome so better is it handsomer handsomer or more <laughs> it's more handsome okay it is more handsome than Junko. I know some people would be screaming, no, right now, but <laughs> never mind. <laughs> but yeah, Jimin is more handsome than Junko. When you, I'm trying to uh, compare this, uh, compare these two now. So right now, uh, for the second one, Harry is brave. Ver bravier or more brave than Ron. 
braver. Okay, let's use book because it's book. <laughs> Sorry, is braver than run. Okay, so I gave you an example here how to use more and how to use just add R. Okay, now let's go to the last column here superlative. So, okay, so I'm saying so remember, so if for superlative, you're saying it's the highest level, you're not comparing them anymore. They're the, at the, the I guess you say that Jimin is handsome, right? He is the ah, handsome <laughs> in the world, okay? So, with, with uh, also in this case, right? So, handsome, do I add just ST, EST, or more A, um, or the word most? Wait, mo A, what was that? Sorry, or the uh, word most. The word most, okay? Where is my black? So Jimin is the most handsome man. Okay? So this is uh, one example for you to use most. Now for the second one, which is the word brave. Alright, so Harry is the bravest man. Is Allah. I love to change the color, but we should not because I'm gonna make you more confused. But yeah, <laughs> sorry. Bravest man. Okay, not bravest, not more braver, so more brave, something like that. But yeah, Henry is the brave, the bravest man. Okay, all right. So I gave you an example how to add just ST here. Uh, also, how to use the mo uh, uh, most. Oh, let me, before I forget. Now, if it's a superlative, right? So like um, in comparative, the word then is very important. In superlative, sorry, I have wire here, so I'm, I'm might gonna trip one day. <laughs> so in superlative, the word the. It's very very important to make to to uh, put your Allah. I hide it here with red color and then this one black color. Sorry. So yeah, the word the the word the tu sangat penting untuk indicate yang sentence ni dekat superlative punya state. Kalau tak um, dia, dia, dia akan jadi general tau uh, So if you really wanted to say oh, Jimin is very handsome It's very 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 handsome uh, In the world kan The most handsome man in the world um, So you kena letak the tu Okay uh, And then Harry juga Kalau Harry um, Is yang paling very 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 brave person right So he uh, is the bravest man The tu kan penting uh, It's like Like it's like the indication that it is the highest level. Okay, so I think I've given you uh, all the examples for today on how to um, compare your adjectives, on how to uh, use adjectives to compare uh, one person to another, uh, another uh, an item to another item, or one noun to another noun. Okay, so with that, we're done. All right, so. Um, I think probably in another video, I will try to guide you as well because sometimes we get confused our adjective dengan adverb. So stay tuned. I will. Uh, there's another video that I will cover how to ensure that you don't confuse yourself between adjective dengan adverb. Okay, uh, so for uh, I think we're done for today. So by now you should know how to use adjective when you try to compare one person to another, when you try to compare one noun to another, one item to another, uh, and then you try when you try to compare them. There's three. Remember there's three states. The first one is positive, which is equal. Second one is when you're trying to say uh, another uh, adjective is more or lesser, so that is comparative. And the third one, the last one is when you say trying to say something. The highest level or very 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 something of that adjective is the superlative one. So there's some uh, indicative or some words that you need to ensure that you put them in your sentences. Kalau tak salah, okay. So with that, um, 
hopefully you guys clear and then thank you so much for watching this video until now I don't know how long the video is but thank you so much for watching it until now um, so stay tuned as well so for this one I will cover adjective probably another video uh, I will try to cover because there's some sometimes we confuse stuff between adjective dengan adverb so stay tuned on that one and then uh, do follow our um, social media we have instagram we have uh, facebook uh, for e-tuition to ensure korang dapat um, updated um, info and then also some new videos that we have in uh, e-tuition channel so do follow do subscribe to our e-tuition channel uh, what other things oh yeah don't forget to like and share this video if you feel it's very very helpful for you sebab takkan lah you seorang je will get the benefit your colleagues or your friends will also be benefit to it as well so share lah kat dia orang okay um, i think with that see you when i see you annyeong